In uh, this video, we're going to prove the following. If both A and B are strictly positive, then the sum of A and B times their, the sum of the reciprocals is greater or equal than 4. Uh, there are many ways to prove this result. Okay, we can just multiply and get to something. But uh, we're going to start from something that we know. So here, A is positive, B is positive. We can define the square root of A and the square root of B. And we're going to make the difference and square it. And using what we know about uh, 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 this identity, we're going to have square root of A plus the square root of B squared minus 2 square root of A uh, times b. So this is bigger than zero. We know that the square root of a minus the square root of b is greater or equal than zero. This gives us that here, if we use this one here, and a and b are positive, we, we have then a plus b minus 2 square root of a uh, times b is greater or equal than zero. This will give us that a plus b is greater or equal than 2 square root of a times the square root, times the square root of a times b. Uh, the same thing we can use 1 over square root of a minus 1 over the square root of b squared. Okay, here we have a positive, strictly positive, b strictly positive, and their difference is positive. So here we can expand as well. We're going to get 1 over a plus 1 over b minus 2 over Square root of a times the square root of b is just square root of a, a b. Okay, this is bigger than zero, so this will give us one over a plus one over b is bigger than two over the square root of a over b. Here we have these two results, so we have uh, we have uh, this one here, and we have this one. Okay, these numbers are positive, therefore if we multiply, we're going to have a plus b times 1 over a plus 1 over b is greater or equal than 2 square root of a uh, b times 2 over square root of a b. So the square root of a b is always positive because a and b are positive. So we can cancel by that and we're going to get 4. So therefore, we have a plus b times 1 over a plus 1 over b is bigger than 4. Okay, so this is one way. Another way is to do the following. So we know that uh, a minus b uh, squared is always bigger than 0. When we expand, we're going to get a squared plus b squared minus 2ab is greater or equal than 0 and adding 2ab to both sides we have a squared plus b squared is bigger than 2ab a and b are both positive strictly positive we can divide by that so we're going to have a squared over ab plus b squared over ab is bigger than 2 we can simplify here and we get a over b plus b over a bigger than 2 now we add 2 to both sides. Okay. We have a over b plus 1 plus b over a plus 1. And we're going to see why. It's bigger than 4 because I added 2 to both sides. Here, this one, I can write it as uh, b over b. And this one, I can write it a as a over a. Here, I can factor out by 1 over b to get 1 over b times a plus b and here I can factor by 1 over a to get b plus a or a plus b bigger than 4 here I have a common factor which is a plus b once I do that I get 1 plus b times 1 over a plus 1 over b greater or equal than 4 okay and therefore I have the result required okay uh, uh, I can also start from here. I can start from this result here that I have. And since everything is positive, I have no problems. I can multiply. So when I multiply here, I get uh, a times 1 over a is 1 plus a over b 
plus b over a plus 1 is bigger than 4. Okay, assume this is true, and I will see where I start. If I get into some true result, that means this statement is true. So here I add, uh, I subtract 2 from both sides, I get a over b plus b over a is bigger than 2. Since both a and a and b are positive, I can multiply and I get uh, I get a squared plus b squared over 2ab. I can multiply by that to get 2ab. So I arrived here and this is what? This is just a squared plus b squared minus 2ab bigger than 0. This gives me that a minus b is bigger than zero. This is always true. Therefore, where I start from is true as well. Uh, we have to prove this result, but we can accept it, okay? So we accept this result here, the steps that I did later. We can accept them. But to prove this result here, we can start from here, from this one here, or we can start as I did from uh, here, from this, uh, this assumption here. Okay? and going forward to get into this one here okay so we have many there are many other ways to prove this result but uh, uh, I think this is uh, this is enough this is enough and the aim was to uh, get into some algebra and uh, some techniques of proving the results and I think that's all we need for today Okay, so uh, uh, if you see any errors or mistakes, please signal them. Please like, share, and subscribe. Okay, uh, if you like the video, give it a like and share it with others who, may, who might need this result, who might need uh, some ways to prove. Okay, thank you very much.